crossing the Jordan. Finally, after their wilderness journey of 40 years, the Israelites were brought to the Jordan and shown where they were to cross over under the leadership of Joshua. Moses, meantime, after blessing Joshua, had died in Mount Nebo. On this occasion, a stupendous miracle permitted the Israelites to pass through the bed of the Jordan into Canaan, the waters being cut off. Everything was so well timed by the Lord that when the priests stepped up to the waters bearing the ark and their feet touched the outer edge, the waters began to subside. The priests advanced as the water subsided and stood in the midst of the river Jordan until all the hosts of Israel had passed over. Infidelity has scoffed at this incident as an impossibility, but recent research shows that the miracle did take place and the means which the Lord adopted for it. Be it understood that every miracle from the divine standpoint is simple enough, yet God, even in miracles, usually operates along the lines of natural means. It is now ascertained that the waters of the Jordan were cut off some miles above the place of crossing at a place called Adam. There a great hillside slid into the river, filling its bed and causing the water to back up, forming little lakes. Gradually it cut its way through. It was then that the Israelites passed over Jordan dry shod. And typically, the crossing of Jordan would represent the fact that God's people now pass from death unto life through faith in the blood of Jesus. The new life begun, they walk by faith, they live by faith, and by faith they fight the good fight in the name of the Lord and under his guidance. And the name Joshua means Jesus, Savior, Deliverer. Respecting the types and prophecies of the past, the apostles tell us that the law was a shadow of better things coming after and that those things were written for the special instruction of the church.